guys, welcome back. Mike here down in the RC corner. As you can see, I'm going to do an unboxing, but first thing, hope everyone's having a good day. Thanks for tuning into this. Um, hope you uh, are interested in what we got here. This was sent to me from RC Moment, and we got a 112 scale. Uh, it's kind of a crawler slash, it's a bit of a hybrid, um, but it's more on that crawler line, but this one goes pretty fast. We'll get to that in a second. So again, 12 scale, four wheel drive, uh, RC car. Kind of looks like a lot, like the the 10428 I have from Dead Little Toys, the um, Polaris look to it. Um, this one looks real cool though, and we'll get to it. Um, it's ready to run, of course, comes with a battery and radio. So over here, it's got a picture of the radio. Also comes in blue. And we'll put the box down here. I claim this thing does 45 kilometers an hour top speed. Uh, it comes with a two cell 25 milliamp hour, 2500 milliamp hour light bulb, four wheel drive. It's got shocks and it's got a nine gram servo for turning. So, pretty cool stuff, guys. I'm looking forward to getting this thing out. The JJRC Speedrunner. Sit tight, we'll get it out of the box and we'll see what all comes inside. Okay guys, I got it out of the box and I just want to show you this though first because right here is the RC itself I put on top of the box. But I noticed that this RC is all sealed up and you can't really work at it. So I'm just going to show you what, the guy, what it looks like without the shell on. It's all screwed in with Philips hardware and uh, each is an individual panel, very similar to the Axial Exoterra I used to have and you can check that out on my channel. As you can see, it's got a 540 size cam motor and a lay down shocks and it's four wheel drive and everything is pretty much sealed up in there and it's a five wire servo tied into the ESC so it's an ESC servo combo thing going on in there. So I'm just going to put this box aside here and throw the RC down and we'll look at some of the other things that came along. Now it was well packaged in the box by the way. It was totally in this styrofoam cube, rectangle cube thing. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be a cube if it was a rectangle. But you get my drift. Anyways, uh, it was very well secured. One of the best secured RCs I've ever had shipped. And uh, absolutely no damage in shipping. Uh, we got a charger here. Um, let's see, it's an 800 milliamp hour out, challenging, charging off the balance lead. And uh, RC Moment threw this in, so that's the European style. And uh, they put the North American adapter on, slides on, pretty nice. And that was a free throw in for them. They open up the box and toss that in. I could see that that was uh, what was done in the shipping and thanks to them for doing that. Uh, yeah, a little cross wrench plastic and it's mostly for getting the wheel nuts off. And you get a small tiny Phillips screwdriver, but I think if you're really going to be working on this, uh, you'd use a better quality screwdriver, but this would work in a pinch for sure. And uh, you get something here about, uh, I'm not sure, uh, alternate reality AR, so I think it means master shooter. I think they're just uh, talking about a game that you can do. I don't know if this was misguided in the box, but it came with it. I'll have to look into that more. Uh, one thing I will say about this, this could be a plus or minus for you. Um, I'll put it in kind of middle ground. I'm an experienced RC guy, so I usually don't have to look at the manual too much. If you're a newbie, uh, this one it's pretty skimpy manual and it's pretty tiny as you can see. It's got the uh, basic information in it and how to work everything. But definitely there's saving costs on printing such a tiny manual. I mean you see other RCs come with nice big manuals like some of the last ones I've had on my channel. Then you get a tiny one like this. So you, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Leave it in the comments below. Uh, personally, I really don't care in my situation, but again, like an inexperienced person, I think this might be a little bit uh, skimpy, but I think it's got everything covered. It tells you how the battery and what all parts come with it, but there is no parts blow up, parts numbers, or any part support listed in here, so that's the definitely the biggest negative in it, and like, uh, there's your troubleshooting guide. Uh, it's not working, uh, low battery. <laughs> 
Anyways, pretty generic stock radio. It's got the fly sky feel, foam wheel. It's tight though, I like that. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It'll take, I'm guessing, four double A's on the bottom. And there they are. A tray up for four. And trigger. It's just normal. You can get your steering dual rate, steering trim. Uh, you probably got a little bit of a bind button you've never used. And an on off switch, the power light there. Red LED, pretty basic stuff. This is about as uh, par for the course for stock radios you'll get. No antenna, just a nub. So, overall, one thing I do like, it's very light. I do like that wheel, I like that foam. Sometimes they, a lot of these ones are slim with plastic, I prefer foam. And now let's get down to the main event itself. Now, just grabbing this RCE and based on some of the other ones I have in my collection that are at the 12 scale, this one feels very much a heavier car, substantially more. I have the 12428 from Double Toys, the green one, and it's like that desert car and it is this feels a lot heavier and a lot better quality i really like that one from dub Bella toys but i got a feeling i might like this one just as much or more we're going to have to take it out and test it obviously okay let's take a closer look at the body i think it looks fantastic some of these other ones have um, chinese interpretations on it and wording uh, this is just beautiful. Speedrunner, high performance, got a bit of a checkered flag thing, cool looking shield with speedrunner in it, crown. I like these kind of razor blade-ish, um, I don't know what you call that, barbed wire type feel maybe, I don't know, that's what comes to my mind. All these panels are screwed on. Pretty cool though, I think it looks great, I like that feel. We got some seats in here. You might be able to stick like a four inch action figure in. I'm born in the 70s, you know, back in the 80s, we played with the GI Joes. They made something like that size, like the mini GI Joes from Hasbro I used to get. That could fit in there. Pretty cool stuff. Tires feel great. They're like soft. They got foam in there. It's kind of like that B lock thing going on. They just feel super grippy. I think this will work great off-road and on-road. The bumper's got some give. I like that. The overall impressions of the appearance, first thing is total thumbs up. And just the weight and the quality, it feels real good. Underneath, you have like that solid axle. It's very common what we've been seeing lately. The on-off switches down here, not a big fan of that. Metal skid plate, love it. Great to see that. This is going to take a lot of bumps when it comes off a of bounce, off a of jump, or going over an obstacle. We got metal hinge pin holders there. See those blue things? That is awesome. Good to see. Metal drive cuts. Uh, looks like, yep, there are CVDs going out to the wheels. Totally cool stuff. Um, shocks. Um, not sure if they're oil filled or not, but they're certainly stiff. Very stiff. I think that might make it a bit bouncy. Definitely the front is not as stiff, but the back feels quite stiff. So we'll have to try out and see how that is. The shocks are like one of the easier things you can upgrade, of course. One real cool thing I noticed about this, and I love the full size spare tire. There's two R clips here in the back, and voila, it flips up and the battery comes out. That is fantastic. Now this battery is a little bit longer. You know, a double A would be a little bit shorter than this, so. And the advertised 2,500 milliamp hours on the box, and it says 3,000 on the sticker. So, it's kind of hard to tell which uh, it is. Do you believe the box or the manual, or do you believe what's on the battery? So, and we got some air braiding on the back. But it says it's been tested according to international standards. It'd be 2-cell 20C. So that's a fairly decent battery. Um, what I want to do is I want to plug that battery in. Now this is what's a little tricky. You've kind of got to reach in underneath. And Dean style plug, of course. The RC is on. That is awful stiff. We'll chuck this in here quick. 
I just want to show you guys the LED lights on this thing. I didn't put that in properly. I know that. And there you go. The headlights and the light bar on top. Hope you guys can see that on this video. It's uh, pretty bright. I can uh, notice it. Um, it'll be interesting to see how you can see it on a sunny day outside. Don't really need a light bar on a sunny day, but um, yeah, man, this thing is totally got the cool factor dialed up. I really like it. Okay, cool. And uh, just lastly, I'm looking here and I can see here on these arms going out, they do have some screw holes. There's gaps in there so you can move the shocks and have them inwards on a slant. That'd be really interesting to check out. So you can move the shocks into here, or you can have them in the back here. There's definitely things you can tinker around with this a little bit if you care to. I'm going to run it in stock form because that's the feel I want you to get because I believe most people will not tinker, and at least 90% of the people that buy this will not tinker with it and will just run it as is. And that's the feel I want to them to have by getting to see my running video of it so we're going to end this here guys um thanks again to rc moment for sending this uh please uh, check out the links below of course uh check out what they got going on um i think they have an rc sale going on so again thanks for them for sending this to review on my channel and i hope you guys like this also check out some of my links i got a new web page store up going with all my favorite RCs in there. People ask me questions about that all the time. And now I have a place where you can go see and it's just quick and dirty. You click on it. No cost to you. Just to get a few little affiliation dollar commission from me. If you're so inclined, it's up to you. I appreciate all you guys do for it. I won't ask you for a dollar or a cent out of your own pocket. Spend it on the RCs. And if you like some of the RCs you see here on this channel and click on my links, and I get you know, a few percent kickback my way and uh, helps me uh, keep the lights on, get some new equipment, and possibly buy a few extra RCs other than what I get sent into review. Guys, I appreciate it. Hope everyone's going to have a good week. Take care. Hope to see you on the next one. All right. Peace out.